Okay, one more challenge before we do anything else. This is called a Atwood's machine. So M1, M2, and a pulley. Ignore that the pulley has mass. Write the Newton's equations. Before you begin, I want to I want to choose a coordinate system. Choose this as my coordinate system. Oh, because why not? Uh, M2 is bigger than M1. In my in this case, assume M2 is. That's a good question. Assume M2 is bigger than M1. Any time you have a coordinate system that goes over something, you can always bend it, especially if they're connected to each other. Because what happens? What happens if you stretch them up? Right? If you just hold your two strings and your masses, they become a straight line. So it definitely is this coordinate system, right? But then you throw it over a pulley, and suddenly you think, oh, both systems should be like this, but that doesn't work. Right? Because they're still connected to each other. So are we ready? Should we do it? Should we do it? Yeah. Okay. So I have how many masses? So this is my normal way of figuring things out. I always do this, even though I know I'm not going to use sigma fx but I can't help myself. So I always do this. Now I will start worrying about forces. Okay, the one force I absolutely know exists goes downwards, M1G and M2G. And I always know that there will be a tension which points up. And that's about it, right? Okay, any forces along the X direction? Those two go away. See how simple it is? As long as you follow this recipe, the chances of us messing up goes down. Okay, next, F sigma Fy. I know I have a T1. I know I have an M1G. So according to my coordinates, T1 should be plus and M1 should be minus, correct? And now that I have the bent coordinate system, what does my second coordinate look like? Again, following the same direction, my X should point this way and my Y should point downward. Yes? Yep. Excellent. That's it. That's the trick to this problem. So now that you have that, that means your T2, and you're going to, again, write M2G and not worry about direction. Just write down all the forces. Now we're worried about direction. So M, uh, T2 in this case will be? Minus and M2G will be plus. See how magically that all happened? Yeah. Oh, and then also accelerations. What directions would accelerations be? Sigma Fy should be M1A going up, so it's positive. And Sigma F1Y will be M2A2, but it is going down so will it be negative it'll still be positive good see how changing those coordinate systems suddenly fixed all our problems yeah that's the hard part figuring out what your coordinate systems can and cannot do that once you hmm? is that a property like having i mean maybe not just that but like having attention force here acceleration ability to follow whichever thing Yes, unless you're applying a push force on it additionally, right? And then you can force it to do what it doesn't want to do, okay. right? So if you pull it or push it, some, something else has to happen. But that's a good question. In general, M2, whichever is the larger mass determines where the acceleration is going. Yeah, it, everything is going to follow that. But unless you're providing an external force that's preventing it from doing it. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a good question. Yeah. 